Hello, everybody. This is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwell, and over there we have John Lewandowski. Hey. Before we get into this video, I would like to thank our sponsor. Very quickly while I get them into the screen while I run into space issues here. Sorry, working in a cubicle sucks. Hockey locker. <laughs> 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Well, before, also before we get into our video, I would like to thank all the people on our page that, that wish to be a happy birthday. Thank you to everybody. Also, uh, happy anniversary over there, John and his wife, Stephanie. You guys thank are working you. on your anniversary. Not that we had this planned. We were hoping that Montreal could give us one more game. <laughs> uh, right. Um, that, so that we didn't have to come with content before the 8th. But we're sorry. It just, you know, we can't, we don't pick our schedule. So life is what it is. Yeah. As we said this is not an easy business to get into. Um, so with that being said, the cup was awarded today to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Congratulations. Yeah. Tampa Bay Lightning. Um, all personal opinion aside. <laughs> um, with that being said, I would like to also congratulate Andre Vasilevsky for winning the Conn Smythe, being the 14th goalie to ever receive the award. In it, I'm looking to see here. Uh. The other goalies to win it, the last goalie to win it was 2012, well, or tw yeah, 2012, Jonathan Quick. Yep. Other goalies to win it multiple times uh, was Patrick Waugh won it three times um, with the Canadians, uh, and once with the, uh, twice with the Canadians, once with the Avalanche. Uh, Bernie Perrot won it twice with the Flyers. It is a award that has been awarded since 19. Five, so it is a very illustrious award. Yeah. Um, however, I will say this: his selfie has to be a meme. I'm sorry, it's just got to be done. There's mm. a photo of him celebrating, and he's going like this in his selfie. Like, who the heck's taking your picture? <laughs> but um, also, congratulations to Pat Maroon becoming the first player in NHL expansion era history to win three straight Stanley Cups with different teams, twice with the Lightning and once with St. Louis. Yep. Um, so he has done something that has not been done since uh, Claude Lemieux. Claude Lemieux won it in with the Devils in 95 and um, Colorado in 96. So that has not been done since then. Yeah. Uh, Maroon was a draft pick of the Flyers back in 2007. Um, we do have some new content coming for you folks later up at, later in the week. Uh, we have um, uh, Jack Eichel and uh, uh, Vladimir Tarasenko on the mind of the trade era. Um, speaking of trades, also check out tonight's video on the Nashville Predators. We're talking about them trying to strike a deal with Seattle. So we'll see what we come up with for some deals. So uh, keep an eye out for that as well on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. Hope you had a great 4th of July. And um, uh, 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 by the way, also uh, RIP um, uh, uh, Kiwi. Um, yes, that is something that happened also um, this last couple days. Um, over the weekend, over the fourth, we lost a, a member of the hockey family. Um, as we say, hockey family is an amazing thing. Um, Kiv Leakins passed away with a uh, 
um, as they say, un, as they said, unknown circumstances at the time. Um, right, right. I will say, in my personal, I, from what I've read, um, Ms. T.S. Kevlikens passed away from a mortar shell hitting him. He fell backwards, hit his head, trying to get out of the way. So the autopsy said fall, but then it said this. So it's like firework or this or a combination of the two just didn't pan out. Um, it, it, right, it, from what I heard, he was watching fireworks in a hot tub of the assistant coach's house or somewhere, and they tipped over, shot at him as he was getting out. He slipped and hit his head. Yeah, it's and, and it, it it's just not exactly something that we want to see in a young no. player. He was 24 years old. Um, we gave time to honor his family. We just wanted to wish our thought, uh, our prayers with, and thoughts with the Columbus yep. Blue Jackets and Cleveland Monsters organizations. But at be all end all, congratulations to Lightning. Also, congratulations yep. to the Canadians for getting there. Um, it's not an easy task, especially during COVID. You guys made, uh, especially Montreal, made a lot of sacrifices. The players playing in Canada were definitely away from their families the entire time where the American players were allowed to have them come in. All right. So um, hopefully next year, everything gets a little better, but we'll get into some more of this stuff later. Uh, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. We'll see y'all later.